Hey guys, Zach Calhoun here. Check this out. In this video, we're going to go over how to white label your own and, and use your own domain with a pro tour on Cloud Pano. This requires a little bit of effort on your end to go into your hosting provider and add a small record. It may seem complicated at first, but I promise once you do it once, it's easy. And then once you complete it, you never have to do it again. And all your pro tours in the future will already have this set up and it's just a one time setup and then forget about it forever. Also, it's important that when you complete this process, you let us know so we can do a couple small changes on the back end to make sure everything is working smoothly. Okay, so check out my screen. This is the help page and we call it how to use your own domain name for Cloud Pinner Pro Tour. First thing you need to do is sign into your domain host. So what the hosting provider I personally use for all my websites, any business that I want to start, is called Bluehost. There's a lot out there. There is HostGator and GoDaddy and all kinds. And you can even go on YouTube and type in how to point your C name with insert host. And you'll find a great video, I'm sure, of someone clicking around and doing it. But the step-by-step -step process is laid out here. So if you see here, step two, so once you know who your host is, step two is to add your CDM record to your domain's DNS records. The, what you need to focus in on is DNS record, and then look for something that looks like this. I highlighted it down here. Record type, C name, label, this is an example label, and a destination, which is right here, which is going to be app.cloudpano.com. I'll come back to the instructions, but first you go to your domain's DNS records. Okay, so here's my Bluehost uh, backend. Okay, and I got all kinds of domains on here that I've bought over the years, 10 years of have being a Bluehost member. Um, and what you need to do is find on your hosting provider the subdirectory called domains. And underneath that, it's going to have a lot of options. I'm sure if you want to buy a domain, I can do it through Bluehost. What I want to find is the zone editor. Click zone editor and it will bring you to this type screen. Then you select your domain you want to use for your virtual tour service. The one they're going to see that instead of seeing Cloud Pano, we sit in the background, they see your domain in its place. Um, this, in this case, I have a, a domain called Virtual Tour Profit. It's uh, one of my, my ideas to teach other people like you how to make lots of money providing virtual tours. And, um, I'm going to use this as my example domain. Okay, so I select that domain, I scroll down, and there's a, an, a section called Add DNS Record. What I see here is two blank, two blank areas. One's called the host record and where, where it points to. Now, if you go back to, to the instructions I was showing earlier, which are on our help page on our website, you'll see that it says add a record to your DNS settings selecting C name as the record type. So right here, there's a word that says type, and, it's like, and I click that button, and right here it says C name. I just select that. First step is done, okay? Now it says, what's step number two? Add a record to your DNS settings. I'm sorry, step number three, change the label or host field of your DNS records to use any subdomain you wish. For example, if your, if your domain name is coloyalty.com, you may want to use tours.coloyalty.com. So... A lot of folks and a lot of providers use the word tours. Um, any name will work as long as you know what it is and don't forget it. So you can put that host record as if you want view. Um, and then so you see host record now I put view. So it'll be view.virtualprof.com or view.jamesesphotography.com um, or whatever you happen to, whatever your um, domain of your website happens to be. I'm going to keep this TTL at default 14400, and it's already at CNAME, and I want to point it to app.cloudpanel.com, which I already had here. I typed in before. App.cloudpanel.com is where you want to point it to. And then I just click Add Record. What's going to happen is this, this little zone file records down here will like re-upload for a second, and, and what happened, if I scroll into my, to my CNAME aliases or my little CNAME section, It'll look different on your hosting provider, but it just happens to be Bluehost. And I go down to, to my host record, you see views added in there. It points to app.cloudpanel.com. That's it. 
I'm done. Now you're going to email our customer service rep or a email that you're, you have been provided for Cloud Phantom and say, hey guys, I added my host record. Um, can you update it for me? And we'll take care of the rest. Give us about 24 hours in your, and you can now use your own domain name on our platform. Here's how that works practically once you create a tour on Cloud Pano. Once you are have created a tour on Cloud Pano, okay, let's say here's an example dashboard. All right, I finished, I published it. It says it looks beautiful. I'm ready to show it to my client. What you need to do now is click share and embed or click the output link you've already been provided, copy that link, and then you just add that into, let's go to a notepad real fast, or you can add it into the website URL or wherever you want. All you're going to do now is you're going to replace this first part with your CNAME record, right? So I use view, and this next part is my domain. So in this case, um, it's going to be virtualtourprofit.com. Whatever domain you have pointed will work. As you can see, I kept the subdirectory name tours and that associated tour ID. You don't want to change that. You don't want to change what's in front of that either. You want to keep that HTTPS semicolon forward slash forward slash. All you change is this first part dot and then to your domain. And then that is now a white label tour. And if you give it 24 hours to propagate, this should work no problem. If you have any issues with this, or if you're wondering what the next step is and you're having, if you're getting stuck, please just reach out to our customer service team. We're here to help you. Thank you so much for being a pro user, and we're excited for you to have infinite success. Remember, set this up once, and it works for the remainder of your account's life. Thank you so much for being a pro user, and I will see you in the next video.